and digging in for Philadelphia Kyle Schwarber the pitch Schwarber. that one is absolutely belted that's back there and out of here that'll fire up the dugout and that gives him a lead it's one nothing Trey Turner now the two one Turner pops it up and there's one away here's Nicholas Castellanos the one one on the ground to the left toss to Naylor and Castellanos is out here's Harper now two outs Way That's high. Two balls, one strike. On the ground of first, Naylor. He takes it on oh. his own. That's the third out. Back here in Cleveland, stepping up for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. And he walked nope. him. That's ball four. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Schwarber makes the grab one away. Bo Naylor at the plate now. 2-2. Two -two. That one missed. Yeah, well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory get yourself in the scoring position three and two payoff pitch knocks that one away and we'll do it again way inside and that hit him he had two strikes on him and he hit him. Oh, that wasn't even close. You know, sometimes a guy will barely miss the zone and hit someone, but right there, he completely lost the handle, and that's when it gets a little scary. Makes the catch for the out. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Right-hander kicks deals. Diving, and he can't make the play. Runner around third. He scores to tie it up. It's 1-1. Comes through with the RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Back now at Progressive Field. Now it's going to be JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto singing has turned into arguably the top catcher in all of baseball. He's won multiple gold gloves, multiple silver sluggers, same story, multiple times an all-star. This guy is fun to watch. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Popped up, and it falls. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Ground ball could be two. Oh, he throws it away. And in comes the runner from second to score. A big mistake there. And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two-base error. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. And now it's even up. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Base runners at second and third here. No outs. In the air, left field. Kwan makes a nice running catch. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. 
Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Second and third here. One away. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. He knew he had a little wiggle room with the open base, but now that disappears. Mistake to this next batter, and this inning might really break open. Swung on, belted. Straw on the move, heading back. Back some more. Back some more. Makes the catch up against the wall. A big run scores on the sack fly, and it's 3-1. to one. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. The left pitch. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And there's one down. And up next for Cleveland, Miles Straw. They say it went. Zach Wheeler, who is the sixth overall pick in 2009 by the Giants out of high school. He's from Smyrna, Georgia. Next pitch has popped up. Stop. Makes the play. Two down. Two outs. Base is empty. And now Jose Ramirez. On the ground. Right side. And it gets by him. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Here's Josh Naylor. And a one-two. Run around the move. Line drive, base hit. Around second is Ramirez. Josh Bell at the plate now. Glide out his first time. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Marsh moves under it. He's got it. And that's the third out. Back here at the ballpark. And now, Trey Turner. And the righty deals. In the dirt. Slow to get out of the box. And he's tagged for the out. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Ball to strike. The pitch. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand up double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. He's got it. There's two away. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Singled and scored his first time. Swing and a pop up. And Real Muto is out. And that will end the end. As we go to the last of the third. And the batter now, Bo Naylor. Next That's offering misses, two and one. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. In the air to left center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Makes the catch. Two up, two down. Two outs, out. base is empty. Ahmed Rosario digs in for the Guardians. Doubled his first time up. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Popped up. Squeezes it. And that is that. Welcome back. Start of the fourth. So digging in now for Philadelphia. Bryson Stock. Ripped to short. Snagged on a bounce. Rosario tosses the first. One up, one down. And now it's Alec Bohm. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. 
Popped up right side. Hauls it in for the out. And here's the first baseman, Derek Hall. He's 0 for 1. And a pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Everything came together for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate. Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. Here's Andres Jimenez. His first at bat was a strikeout. Swing and a ball popped up. One away. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. He's 0 for 1. And that one almost got him. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Out to center. And there's two away. And now the center fielder, Miles Straw. He popped out his first time. 1-1 one, one now. That one the other way. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. He's already homered in this game. And that one in the air center field. Quan settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. Here's Trey Turner. And he deals. Bounce to the left side. Ramirez. Throw to first is in time. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Now a screamer into the outfield. And Castellanos is out. And that is. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Single to right in his first trip. Ripped on the ground a second. Going up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Full count pitch. He'll have to wait. Time called to the plate. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Can't get there. Base hit. And it gets by him. The throw in. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. And yeah, there's ball four. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Well, that's a base hit. One runs in. Nicely done. Brings home two. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with. Hard liner. 
Schwarber pulls it down. Both runners tagging. Save! That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball, just couldn't get it to drop in. So two down now, and here is Andres Jimenez. And that should be extra bases. In comes the runner from third. It's 5-3. Around second now, going for three. And he's in safely at third. A run comes in on the play. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a ball. And now this is down for a base hit. Runner from third comes across, and they take a two-run lead. Back-to-back -back base hits. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the inning. Sam Hentges gets the call from the pen. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. The 1-1. One -one. Inside just missed. You know, these Phils putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at-bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. That one ripped right center field. And in one hops the wall. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. He was all over that one. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. The other way, Ramirez. To first. And now two gone. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. At the belt and fires. Bounced up the middle. And it gets by him. Now a long throw home. Tag, too late, he scores. And it's now a two-run game. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Quad brings it in for the third out. Here's Jose Ramirez, one for two. You know, see, Jose Ramirez signed that big extension, a five-year, $124 million contract before the 2022 season. But right before that happened, the Guardians came this close to trading him. Castellanos makes the catch, and there's one gone. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And he dodges that fastball. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10-inning walk-off win. Pretty amazing streak and a big part of the history of this yard. Tosses the first. Two up, two down. And here it comes. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. And that will end the inning. So digging in, Brandon Marsh. Good contact guy, good defender. The pitch. And it's fouled away. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He's already homered here in this one. And before the pitch, he steps off. Left-hand batter waits. 
This one popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Not in time. He's safe. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Not much the defense can do there. They're playing the odds that he'll pull it right at him, but a little slow roller the other way is pretty much indefensible. Here's Turner now. One and ball. one and two. two Schwarber leads off second with one gone in the inning. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Strong pulls it down, and they're two away. Nick Castellanos, the next to hit, one for three. Third, second, two down. Kicks and deals. My drive, that's a base hit. Runner holds it third, so even with two outs, they didn't risk it. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just as now that's strike three and the third out, so we take a break. Now the catcher up to hit, Bo Naylor. is fouled off you know these guardians doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game and the numbers back that up one thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time that's good discipline right there and on top of it they're producing more than a hit per inning Schwarber makes the grab one down all those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play Anything can happen at that point. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. That one misses, two and one. On the ground. And it gets by him. The runner at first with two away. Next to hit, Andres Jimenez. Rosario runs. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside. Saw it deep into the... Runners on the move. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. First and second. Two down. Now fly ball to right center. Dives and it gets by. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play and it's 8-4. Right past his coach headed for the plate. Not in time. He's safe. Miles Straw digs in for the Guardians. That one out to right. And makes the play and that's out number three. On the mound now, Nick Sandley. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. In the air, center field. Straw calls it in, and there's one away. This is Bryson Stott. The 1-1. One -one. And that one is lifted in the air. Straw has a beat on it. Two down. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. The 2-1. That one fouled off. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Swing and a miss. 
just struck him out. And good work there. And now it's...